welcome to the channel. I'm David Sugarman, and I'm here to help you improve your English in a way that's effective, engaging, and most importantly, practical. If you're tired of getting lost in boring grammar books and really want to see progress, you're in the right place. On this channel and through my website, I've created a series of lessons that guide you step by step from the basics all the way to advanced levels. Here, you're going to work on grammar skills and also your listening skills, both crucial for becoming fluent in English. These lessons are designed to boost your English skills and help you sound more natural and get you speaking fluently. And here's the best part. This method works. You'll see real results that will not only improve your grammar and listening abilities, but also save you time. So trust the process, stick with it, and you'll be speaking confidently in no time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're ready to take it further, visit my website at davidenglish.info. Now, let's get started on the topic of personal subject pronouns. Personal subject pronouns. He, she, it, we, they, you, and I. Use when the pronoun is the subject of the sentence. They take the place of the noun. Examples. Mia and Jake are traveling. Equals. They are traveling. Because it's Mia and Jake and this is they. Tom is reading a book. It's Tom, it's a boy. You can say he is reading a book. The house is very big. It is very big. Anna and I are excited. Equals we are excited. Now, I want to remind you that this lesson is a review if you have already done it in my lesson with you or one of my teachers has done it with you already. Um, and if you want to take it further, you can visit my website at davidenglish.info and you can go to the personal subject pronoun section and you can take another quiz. At this point, you can stop the video and try to answer these yourself and write them down in your notebook. That way, you're going to get better. Again, this is a basic level lesson. I will read out the question and then give you the answer and then move on to the next one. Directions. Complete the sentences. One, my brother likes basketball. What do you think? I'm going to go with he likes basketball because my brother is a boy. He likes basketball. Number two, my friends and I eat out often. My friends and I eat out often. We eat out often. Three, my neighbor helps with my homework. She helps with my homework or he helps with my homework. Both okay. Number four, John and Mary have a nice garden and we admire it. John and Mary. They have a nice garden and we admire it. Five. Tom runs every morning. 
Tom is a boy, he runs every morning. Number six, my team practice every day. I would say because it's a team and I'm on it, we practice every day. Seven, my cousin studies at the library. What do you think? Here you could say, he studies at the library, she studies at the library. Because it's a cousin and we don't know if it's a boy or girl. Eight, Lisa and Jay love hiking. At this point, because we have Lisa and Jay, I'm going to say they love hiking. Number nine, myself bake cakes on weekends. I'm going to say I bake cakes on weekends because it's myself and that's me i i bake cakes on weekends 10 my dad repairs computers if it's my dad that's a boy i'm going to say he repairs computers number 11 my siblings and i go camping every summer well, if it's my siblings and I, I'm going to say we go camping every summer. Twelve, my aunt sings beautifully. Well, my aunt is a woman, so I'm going to say she sings beautifully. Thirteen, Sarah and Ben play tennis on Fridays. It's just Sarah and Ben. I think it's about them. I'm going to say they play tennis on Fridays. Myself draw cartoons for fun. It's myself. I'm going to say I draw cartoons for fun. And 15, my teacher gives great lectures. She or he gives great lectures because the teacher could be a boy or a girl. Again, you can stop the video and write down your answers and then check. Let's continue. And you can also go on my website at davidenglish.info and do more exercises under the pronoun section. 16. My colleagues and I work on projects together. Well, it's my colleagues and then I. That's many people. We work on projects together. 17. My roommate enjoys reading novels. One roommate can be a she or a he she or he enjoys reading novels 18 nina and jake ride horses on weekends because it's nina and jake and that's two people i'm going to say they ride horses on weekends 19 Myself, enjoy painting landscapes. I enjoy painting landscapes. And 20, my coach trains athletes. Again, it's one coach. I'm going to say she or he trains athletes. So at this point, you need to describe a few things about yourself or someone you know. Here you can say what you do or who you are. You could write them down in the comments if you would like. I'm an English teacher. 
I teach English, and I am married. What about you? Now I'm going to read out the answers slowly, and you can listen to them. One. He likes basketball. Two. We eat out often. Three. She or he helps with my homework. Four. They have a nice garden and we admire it. Five. He runs every morning. Six. We practice every day. Seven. She or he studies at the library. Eight. They love hiking. Nine. I bake cakes on weekends. Ten. He repairs computers. Eleven, we go camping every summer. Twelve, she sings beautifully. Thirteen, they play tennis on Fridays. Fourteen, I draw cartoons for fun. Fifteen. She or he gives great lectures. Sixteen, we work on projects together. Seventeen, she enjoys reading novels. Eighteen, they ride horses on weekends. Nineteen, I enjoy painting landscapes. And twenty, she or he trains athletes. For more information, visit and follow my social media accounts. You can come visit me at davidenglish.info, and please subscribe, hit a bell, give me a like, give me a comment, and let's make this channel grow. Thank you for your time, everybody. See you in the next lesson. Hi, how are you today? If you would like to elevate your English level, where people actually understand you, where you're not making mistakes, where you're not confused, where you have control of your English, then you're in the right place. My name is David Sugarman. I've been teaching business English for over 12 years, and I can really help you. Currently, right now, I'm teaching in big companies like Diplomat Israel, like IKEA, and others. If you would like to hear more information. Please reach out to me over here. Bye for now.